Hello and welcome to the PC security channel once again. Today I'll be testing a very interesting product from China. Once again, this is Baidu Antivirus and this is their brand new stable version which I'll be testing. So first of all, I'll guide you through the settings just to show that everything is at stock. I did modify a couple of settings to improve the protection. That is, I enabled the detection of the, all the different types of malware. So that is the only setting that has been modified. Apart from that, everything is mostly at stock. So there should not be any problems. As you can see, it's up to date. Now let's take a look at the memory usage. As you can see, that's quite a lot of RAM. So, especially considering that this is a product that's supposed to work with another antivirus, I don't think that high RAM usage is good. But here we go, this is the detection ratio test. These are all the threats that Baidu has detected. Now let's go ahead and remove them and see what we're left with. Now it does use the Avira signature, so I'm expecting, oh yes, I'm expecting and I did get a very high detection ratio. That is, I just missed uh, four files. And that's an astounding detection ratio, as you'd expect. Avira is pretty much top of the line stuff, so you can pretty much guess what kind of detection ratio it would get if it really used Avira signatures, and uh, the results are very similar. So that is confirmation that it does use uh, the Avira engine. Now, we're running these files to um, make sure that their zero day is also useful. Now, as you can see, uh, it is catching some of these with its signatures or cloud-based protection, but um, we've got some additional files, as you can see, because uh, it had left so few files, and we've disabled the signatures just for this. But what I'm guessing is that this thing is uh, using its cloud to, you know, catch some of these files, despite the fact that we've disabled these signatures. But as for the rest, I don't see it doing anything. We've got a malware process. In fact, we've got a couple of malware process and kill switch. So let's go ahead and do our second opinion scans and find out what exactly happened. Here's malware bytes, and now we're going to scan with malware bytes and Hitman Pro, and here are the results. So we've got a couple of infections on both. They're not like too severe, but once again, I wouldn't be too happy with the zero day part. So, a great product to use alongside your AFI if you can deal with the resource usage, but zero day continues to be the Achilles heel of this product. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Have a nice day. Check this product out if you liked it. I'll see you guys in the next Peace Security Channel video.